when we really started to think about it and and think about our own supply chains and realizing like you know it's really cool that we're based on natural oils primarily coconut olive and hemp and um palm and and you know various essential oils um you know versus all these synthetic detergents like most of our competition was and that's awesome and my grand had done great with with that but you know just realizing we're just buying from brokers we have no uh visibility into the growing conditions mm -hmm. that these you know materials are being grown under you know the the environmental or social conditions and so that's what really launched our adventure. Um, so that would be in the early 2000s So really wanting, inspired by the fair trade movement on one side, organic on the other. Like we need to, well, not, I'll say like first we went organic. I think in 2003 we were certified. So, but then kind of quickly realized that, well, you know, we're still buying from brokers. We're not in a direct relationship with our farming communities. We don't know exactly what's going on there. You know, mm -hmm. we don't know if there's kids picking these coconuts, you know, like that. That was still not, you know, clear to us. So that's when we embarked on, okay, we're going to transition our supply chains to farming communities and establish direct trading relationships where we know, you know, that the farmers are taking care of their land in the right way and their people in the right way. <music>